YouTube, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. Yo, listen up, bros. Look, this is gonna sound kind of crazy, but just hear me out, bro. Just hear me out. I would rather, I would rather connect with a chick on a on a intellectual level, on a spiritual level, on an emotional level. I would rather connect and vibe out with a chick on those levels before the sexual level, before before the sexual connection, right? Hear me out, bro. Hear me out. A lot of times, bro, we get caught up with chicks that we dealing with and we get caught up in the physical and the sexual aspect of the relationship. Right. Or or of the dynamic between you and that woman. Right. And then your judgment get cloudy. You feel me? If you can vibe out, if you can find you a chick, bro, that you vibe out with and you actually enjoy being around her. You don't mind her being around. And I know this may be very rare, bro. Some of y'all may never find this. You feel me? Some of you may never experience this. But if you do, I'm telling you, this is something that you want to keep around. This is something that you would not want to just, you know, take lightly. Because you may never you may never get that again. That's how rare it is. I'm talking, you, you, you find a chick that you actually rock with. And you actually want to be around her and she want to be around you and y'all just click on like same sense of humor you feel me like laughing at the same jokes y'all got a lot of the similar goals and, and, and a lot of similar values and morals right y'all just align in a lot of areas right and i'm not speaking on the physical or the sexual aspect of it right but y'all align in a lot of those areas to where you don't mind talking to her you don't mind her being around you you feel me like a real life like she a real life road dog right that's more important personally i feel that's more important than the sexual and physical aspect of the relationship now i'm not saying go out and, and and be with somebody that you're not attracted to the attraction gotta be there right the attraction gotta be there but we as men, we a lot of times we get so caught up in chasing the next best thing. You feel me? Like you see one chick and then you see another one that look better and you like, oh, I want to see what that be like. And then you see and the, and the cycle just keeps going. Right. You chasing every pretty face or you chasing every cold banging body that you see. Right. And then in the long run, if you do it for long enough, if you if you young right now, you do that for long enough, you kind of end up tricking yourself out. To where it's gonna be very difficult for you to find somebody that you actually rock with for real for real right you get caught up in the just the physical or just the you know little flings but when you get to a point where you may actually want to settle down you may actually want to lock in with somebody it's gonna be a lot more difficult because you've been you've been you know what i'm saying chasing and, and playing around all these years so if you find somebody that you rock with on a on an intellectual level where y'all connect, you know what I'm saying, spiritually, emotionally, y'all really vibe out, you really want to be around this chick, if you find that, bro, don't, don't take it lightly, bro, that's what I'm saying, the chick that you dealing with now, right, you may be, you may be dealing with a chick that you physically attracted to, or that you may have a high sexual chemistry with, right, that sexual chemistry can cloud your judgment, right? You could end up in a situation where you're dealing with somebody that everything outside of the sex is, is toxic. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything outside of that is like, you know you're not supposed to be with her. You feel me? She's not, she not bringing no value into your life. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't have good conversations. Y'all irritated. But, you know, in the one area, the sex is great. So you keep it around. Then you end up staying in that cycle for years, Stand in that cycle for way too long and don't slip around, mess around and have a chick, have a baby with the chick. Don't mess around and have a baby with the chick. Slip up, mess around, have a kid with her. Now you really stuck and connected to that chick forever. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't y'all don't share the seed. Now you're dealing with toxicness between y'all two because you was never meant to be with her in the first place, but you were so caught up in the sexual attraction or you were so caught up in the sexual chemistry that you had with this chick that you was putting all the other stuff to the side. You was ignoring all the red flags. You knew she shouldn't have been around, but you was doing it anyway, because it was fire. I'm just here to tell you, bro, you gotta be way, way, way more strong than your urges. 
right? You got to have a lot more discipline in your urges. You can't always feed into these urges, bro. It's one of the most difficult things you have to learn how to master is mastering those urges, man. You know what I'm saying? Calling up the chick that you know you ain't supposed to be talking to, dealing with the chick that you know you ain't supposed to be dealing with. But all because of those urges, you're like, man, she got that fire. I can't leave her alone. But in the long run, it's going to do way more harm than good, bro. So lock in with somebody that you actually connect with and that you can actually build with, bro. Those are the ones that you actually lock in with. Those are the ones that you actually keep around. Don't stick around with the chick that ain't doing nothing for you, but just the pleasure aspect. You feel me? We get so caught up in the pleasure, get so caught up in the feel good area that we dismiss a lot of things that we shouldn't be dismissing. You spending a, a bunch of extra money you shouldn't be spending. You, you getting in the arguments that you shouldn't be getting in. You stressing out, you stressed out, she's stressing you out in all these other areas. All these red flags, you feel me? But you're just so caught up in the pleasure. You feeding those urges. The sexual chemistry is fire. So you staying in it. You staying in that situation that you should have been got out of. Bro, take this as your sign, bro. Don't keep, don't keep putting yourself in that cycle, man. You can end up in that cycle for years. You can end up in that cycle for way, way longer than you should have been. And you could be missing out on opportunities of actually locking in with somebody that you should be locked in with. You could be missing out on those opportunities, dealing with the wrong person that you know, you know it's the wrong person. You feel me? So fellas, young fellas, old cats, whatever, take this as a sign, man. Right? If you can lock in with somebody that you actually got a real connection with outside of just the physical, don't mess that up. Keep that, keep that, keep that one around, you know? You gotta start you gotta start thinking with this up here man you got to start planning and mapping your life out and anybody that ain't supposed to be in your life you gotta you know you gotta excuse them you gotta remove them start mapping your life out see what it's looking like in the next in the next year in the next five years see what it's looking like see who should be in your space when you get into where you're trying to go you know that one chick who is not being of any benefit outside of the sexual you know she's not supposed to be around. You know she's not going to help you get to where you're going. She's just slowing you down. She's holding you back, bro. I get it. It's difficult. It's going to be tough when it's fire. But you got to do what you got to do if you're trying to get to where you're trying to go. Or, you know, you can stay dealing in the same cycle. You can stay dealing with the same chick and getting the same results you've been getting. Getting absolutely nowhere. You can keep doing that too. All right? Choice is yours. But you can't have it all, man. You can't, you can't have it all. You got to sacrifice something. And if sacrificing that part of your life, that area, sacrificing the chick that you ain't supposed to be dealing with, if that's going to help you to elevate, then that's what you need to do. Go ahead and make it happen, man. It's difficult, right? Lock in with somebody that you want to be around, bro. Lock in with somebody that you want to talk to, that you enjoy spending time with, bro. It's going to make it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier when you actually want the chick that you're dealing with to be around, when you want to talk to her, right? When you can confide in her, it's gonna make it's gonna make everything a whole lot easier in, in in your relationship aspect when it comes to the to the dating and relationships area of your life. It's gonna make it so much easier, bro. Just take this game, and it's free game, bro. Take the game, apply it to your life, man. Thank me later. Look, if any of this information help you at all, just hit the subscribe button, man. That's all I ask. Leave a comment, you know what I'm saying? Share it to somebody that you know might need to hear this information. It's pretty simple. Hit the subscribe button, comment, share. Turn the notifications on, all that good stuff, man. I just had to speak this out real quick, man. It was something that was on my mind, something that I know a lot of you young cats can benefit from because I know that a lot of y'all feed into the urges, right? You feed into the to the pleasure, and that's, that's good enough for you. You're getting pleasured, and then everything else don't matter. So you can't be moving like that, man. Uh, I got more videos on the way, man. I'm getting back with y'all soon, man. Peace.